Hi, what we have here today is a 1972 Yamaha. It's the RT1 is the model. It's a 360 Enduro. Uh, I picked this bike up from a guy here in town that had it since the early 70s. <coughs> he parked it and was in his heated garage since 1976. Um, so we got it running. I had to have the gas tank sealed inside with the uh, coating, the good stuff. We put a new petcock on it, points and condenser. The side cover was broken, so I put a new side cover, well, re a used replacement side cover on it. Uh, you can see the bike, it was mostly ridden on the road from what the guy tells me. He never really rode it off road. He, he used it as transportation back in the 70s. Uh, the bike looks pretty stock, other than uh, a lot of guys would put these fenders on them. <laughs> it's got the original tires on it from back then. Well, I don't know about original, but it's got old tires on it. You can see dry rotting on them. It's a good tread, but they're all cracked. So the tires should be replaced if you're gonna ride this thing on the road. Um, the rims aren't half bad. There's a, there's, uh, the chrome looks decent on them. Um, all the lights work on the bike. The speedometer is not working. I didn't look into it. Uh, the speedometer does not work. So I'm not sure, I can't be exact, know exactly what the mileage might be. Uh, it says exempt on the title. And of course I have a Pennsylvania title in my name ready to transfer. Uh, but this bike, we got it mechanically running well and it runs nice. Starts easy, runs good. Uh, but again, looking at it, um, the tank doesn't have any dents in it. It's got some scuff marks on it and so on. All original. Looks like somebody might have replaced the tack because it's black where the Speedo is silver. So I'm not sure what happened there, but the tack does work. And the ignition's intact. Um, the horn works. There's no signals on the bike. They must have been taken off because uh, they're not with the bike. You can see where they mount. Um, has the buddy pegs on it. Somebody stuck on, you know, to ride your buddy. Uh, we changed the uh, transmission oil. As you know, it's a uh, two-stroke. So the uh, it still has oil in the tank here. I mentioned a new petcock. Uh, under the seat, uh, of course, we put a new battery in it. And um, the seat pan's in decent shape. And uh, there's a couple marks on the seat. Here's a, a blem here. This bike's a nice rider. Uh, I like to call it a survivor. And uh, it's an early one, a 72. It's a good year. Brake light works, tail light works. Over on this side, it's uh, original pipe. A lot of times people put different pipes on these bikes. Original pipe, uh, the tool kit we showed you is in here and we, all the tools were there. I think the head, the, the handle for the screwdriver part was not. But other than that, we took a picture of it. We also have a service manual that we took a picture of and a copy of the title. But again, looking at the bike, uh, there's no fil uh, cylinder fins broken or anything. Of course, it has the uh, extra spark plug. A lot of guys would switch it from one plug to the next, hotter or colder plug, if you're riding off-road and, and so on. But I don't think, again, this bike was ridden off-road much. There's the VIN number, RT1, 1171. Uh, that's the same number that's on the motor. Yamaha's numbers matched. And um, anyways, the bars are probably the original bars. They, they're bent. Uh, there's a bend in them. You can tell when you're going down the road. But I'm going to get started and get this bike, uh, show you how nice it runs. So, again, just uh, key on, set it on, gas straight down. And you don't have to choke it long, but I choke it when I start. It just lever down and start right up. A lot of compression.
if it's the third time it's warmed up, it really runs well when it's 